from Austin, Texas, it's the Jamie Kennedy Experiment, starring Jamie Kennedy. Tonight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to... Jamie's giving these folks a tour they'll never forget. Homeland Security. It's for America. You think I want to stick my hand in your anus? <laughs> a JKX funeral. Alice, hey Alice, M thirty three. This dad meets the dean of discipline. Your son has been involved in some illegal activities. He's been involved in extortion, racketeering. What? <laughs> Guys gone nuts. I put you in a thong. Your name is painted on your ass cheeks. That's it. <laughs> and special guest star, Lisa Loeb. I want my song on the show, or I'm gonna sue you. You're gonna sue me? So get ready for a barbecue good time from deep in the heart of the Lone Star State, Austin, Texas. Welcome to the Jamie Kennedy Experiment. Yeah! Thank you. We are here in Austin, Texas, and y'all ready to put the X in Texas? All right. Well, as you know, we are deep here in the heart of cheerleader country. So in this piece, I play an old man whose wife, Alice, used to be a cheerleader. Now, we've invited the Southwest Texas State cheerleaders to come cheer at Alice's 90th birthday party. <laughs> but when they show up, they get a bit of a surprise. That's right, she's dead. Now, keep in mind, everybody at the funeral is in on it. And the body in the casket is just a dummy. Here come the cheerleaders now. And just so you know, their coach, the guy in the black coat, he's in on it too. Hi. Welcome. Hello. Hi, Steven Beeler. We're supposed to be here for a birthday party, I told. Oh my gosh. No, I guess no one told you. I'm so sorry. I just must have fallen between the cracks. Alice passed away two days ago. Now, we told her about the plans for the cheerleaders to come to the birthday party, and she was so moved that she asked if they would come to the funeral and make this a kind of celebration. Do you think the girls could go ahead and do a cheer anyway? It would mean a lot to Jack. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, she's pretty good. Get out of here. Just do two cheers, and we're getting the hell out of here. Just come down. We are gathered here today not to mourn, but to remember someone who meant a great deal to us. I don't have to tell any of you how special a person Alice Grady was. If you knew her, you knew that. She was very worried about the loved one she was leaving behind. Eventually, I was able to convince her that she wasn't leaving anyone behind, that she and God are here with us today. Right now, I would like to turn the service over to Alice's husband, Jack. Jack? Thank you, Father. Alice used to say that God was her cheerleader, that the clouds were her pom-poms, and boy, was she sexy. <laughs> she was wonderful. And many things. <laughs> Mm. 
I know that Jack joins me in wanting to make this a day of celebration. We all know how much cheerleading meant to Alice. And so, to celebrate that, please welcome the Southwestern Texas State Cheer Squad. <laughs> again, but this time, instead of saying the name Bobcat, say the name Alice. <laughs> I think it would mean a lot to Jack. Alice, go Alice. Jack is asking if the mascot could do anything. champion. Father, I'm going long. For my lady. For my lady. <laughs> Hit me, Father, I'm open. When we last left off, I had just shocked our cheerleaders with a slant pass route down the middle at my wife's funeral. Damn it. Father. this pass with an angel on my shoulder. <laughs> Bobcats, go Bobcats! I have an angel on my shoulder. I'm open. Oh, no, I'm open. I'm open. Wait till I get here. I'm open. Ah. Is she okay? Father, put her back in the coffin. I never wanted to hurt her. Maybe Girl, one last cheer? Can we do just one last cheer? If you could hold this. Here. Bobcats, go you Bobcats. Give me the a J. 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 Give me a K. J. Give me an X. Yes. You know what that spells? JKX. You've been X. You're on my hidden camera show. It's called the Jamie Kennedy Experiment.
Now, we did this piece three times, and these girls were so sweet and innocent that I just had to show you their reactions the other two times. The coach of the Southwest Texas cheer squad helped us out by breaking up his girls into three groups. Now, when this group figured out they were at a funeral, they were so freaked out that they tried to leave immediately. Stephen, thank you so much for doing this for us. Please, come in. Come in. But we weren't going to let them off that easily. Alice passed away two days ago. And we told her of the plans for the, uh, for the cheerleading, and she was so moved that well, she asked that we go ahead with our plans. All right, so here comes group number three. Alice passed away two days ago, but she wanted to turn the funeral into a celebration. I know it would mean a lot to Jack, her husband. You follow me? Now pay attention to that girl in the back. She's checking to see if their bus is still in the parking lot. Now luckily, we made sure it left right away. We're gathered here today not to mourn, but to celebrate someone who meant a great deal to us. I would like to begin that celebration by bringing up the Southwest Texas State Cheer Squad. By the looks of these girls, this ought to be one happy cheer. Go, Alice, go, go, Alice, go, Alice, go, go, Alice. Into the afterlife, Alice. Into the afterlife. Thank you. Thank you very much. There's been a request from Jack. If one of our cheerleaders here might want to say a few words about how much they love cheerleading. About cheerleading? Yeah. Um, I love to cheer because I think it makes everyone happy when they see us down here smiling oh. and having so much fun. I think that everyone sees how happy we are. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. been next. You're on my hidden camera show called the Jamie Kennedy Experiment. Yeah. Southwest Texas Cheerleader Squad. Yeah. You guys think that maybe you could do a cheer with Alice? Just face me, sir. I'm not gonna do this. Sir, <laughs> I'm doing my job. It's for America. Have you ever stuck your hand in a Thanksgiving for... <laughs> Now, 
if you think airport security is tough, try getting into my club. We set up a full-on airport-style security search in the lobby of a popular Austin nightclub. Now everyone here is in on it, except for this guy, who's about to get put through the ringer. Excellent. Hey. Now, the two hot mommies coming in are actresses. They're there to get our guys really excited about getting into the club ASAP. Want to come through? There you go. Come through. Come through. All right. Okay. Have a nice night. Thank you. Have a good evening. Hey. Ready, huh? Come through. There you go. Okay. Any metal in your pockets? Uh, change. Can you take it out? Can you take your jacket off, please? Can I live him? Come on, come on, no living here. Come on through. My belt, maybe? Take your belt off. Shoes. Take your shoes off. Put those shoes in there, please. Can I put on the glove? No gloves left. Can I put on the glove? Can I put on the glove? Can I put that tissue down, sir? Can I put on a glove? Harlan, I'll tell you when. Just hold tight. Sir, yes, we need you to take off the shirt. Take off my shirt? Yeah. I yeah. have a condom in my pocket. That's all right. You want me to hide the condom for you? No, no, no. It might have been metallic. You have a metallic condom, sir? Yes. The wrapper's metallic? Yes, sir. All right, come through again. All right, what's going on? I have no clue. What do you got? What's the shirt made out of, Rayon? I have no clue. Yeah, 35% rayon. Rayon. Take it off, sir. Take the shirt off. Thank you for your son. Thank you, sir. Let's step right away. Can I get the glove? Harlan. Can I put it on? We're not putting the glove on. All right, take it off. All right. You got to let me do the glove. You got to let me do the glove. I've lubed a thousand guys. It is not time to okay, lube. What's going on here? You got metal on there? I have a metal. Zipper. Gotta take them off. Is this, is this I'm putting the glove on. Yeah. So I don't have any. Hey, step, step back over here, sir. If we let you in the club, something happens, it's my ass. Should I take my pants off? Take your pants off, sir. Yeah. Right now, it's your ass. Put the glove on. Can you take your pants off? Go ahead. Can you take your pants off, sir? No, 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 no. Nothing's gonna happen. Nothing's gonna happen. Why do you have that on there? Huh? I'll take my I need you to take your pants off. Just do what they say. Come on, let's go. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Nick will take you the shots. Man? Oh, hurry up, sweetie. We'll be waiting for you up here. Come on through. Sir? Come on through. What's going on? Where are you hiding? I have. I have. Caps in my teeth. Caps in your teeth. I might have to go to double loop. I gotta go to double loop. Yeah, I, I think it's about time. If you just face me, sir. I'm not gonna do this. Sir? I have nothing. What are you doing? I gotta, I... It is, it is heightened security. He's, he's lived a lot of guys. It's, it's really good. No. Sir? I'll leave, that's fine. Actually, it feels kind of good. Sir? <laughs> sir, no, listen, I'm not gonna do anything bad. No, you can... I'm not going to do anything bad. You uh, Have you ever stuck your hand in a Thanksgiving turkey? That's ridiculous. Let's close your eyes. That's ridiculous. What are you doing? I have a lube on my hand. Yeah. Where would I touch you? My... Uranus? Yes, sir. You're correct. I'm doing my job. It's for America. Do you think I want to stick my hand in Uranus? It's an orange alert now. I'm so. the helping hand it's for America. America. Well, it's not what you have on you, sir. It might and be what you have in you. you. This is, this is the hand of America, a helping hand of security. Can you close your eyes and just think of a happy place? It'll take one second. You can't think of a happy place? No, because I'm not going to have, you all are messing with me. Could you do me a favor? Yeah. All right, I'll take the glove off. What's up? Right. Will you turn around? Am I on the camera? You're on my, <laughs> look at here. You've been asked, you're on my hidden camera show, the Jamie Kennedy experiment. <laughs> you're right here. You're on the hidden camera, Joe. Come on, go right here. Stay right here. Just stay right there. Look right here. Come on, where's your over Come on.
coming up. It's not girls gone wild, it's guys gone nuts. And wait till you see what these cowpokes did for our cameras. Girls Going Wild videos. Yeah. Well, for those of you who haven't. It's basically like that for two hours. <laughs> so we decided to do our own version of Girls Gone Wild, but we called it Guys Gone Nuts. So we went to the hottest clubs in Austin, looking for guys to be in the video. As you can see, more than a few obliged. But in the end, we picked these four. Hugh, Julian, Zach, and David. And you wouldn't believe the stuff these guys did to get on camera. Next, we invited them to the Guys Gone Nuts video release party and told them they'd beaten out hundreds of guys and would be featured on the tape, which was going to be sold nationwide. That's me. I play the producer of the video. And everyone else at the party is in on the gag. Except, of course, for our four studs. Ladies, are you ready to get this started? We got guys going down! Yeah! First guy up, we got Julian. Now, since we told them that they were the stars of Guys Gone Nuts, they think all these girls are really into them. They couldn't wait to strut their stuff. <laughs> Actually, the girls are all actresses we've hired to go crazy for these guys. Now, what these guys don't know is that we hired actors and cut them into the video as well. And here's just a few of them. <laughs> Whatever our love life needs a little oomph, I reach for guys gone nuts. I reach for nuts. I want to ride these guys like this big, hot hog, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you're like me, and you like hot bods in Texas, then this tape is for you. <laughs> the experiment? How nuts will our guys get when they find out the tape isn't exactly being marketed to women? <laughs> We put this little tear together we shot with these gentlemen over the weekend. We already have 6,000 orders online in Austin alone, thanks to these gentlemen right here. Hallelujah, we got another 23,000 orders nationwide. Beautiful ladies, love y'all. So let's take a peek at Guys Gone Nuts. Warning, the following video contains adult content and may not be suitable for all viewers. Think you've seen it all? Well, think again. It's Guys Gone Nuts. Texas. about the tapes. Watching that 
that's it, but I don't think it's guys going nuts. I think it's guys going bananas. <laughs> Coming up. The reason I brought you guys up here is because I'm looking for a few gay ambassadors. It all depends on what I have to do. Thank you very much. He's in. We're going to get an ambassador. And later. Every day at around 3 o'clock, my best friend Michael <laughs> my wife. Right here in this hotel. So what time is it? <laughs> break, our four guys had just finished watching themselves in our video, Guys Gone Nuts. All right, keep the party going, everybody. Now that our guys realize that they're in a gay video that's being distributed nationally, we take them upstairs into a private room to see who's still on board. Man, I can't be having this yeah, that, that, on TV, that, that, man. Holy Man. That video was kind of shaky, man. I don't know what's the deal with that. It's already, play, it's already been planned? Is that what he said? It, it, that, was, that was some <laughs> up stuff. This kid, this guy's a party. Oh, my God. So now it's time to talk to the guys. What I don't know is one of them has a surprise for me. Hey, everybody. Right, fellas. Jimmy Kennedy. What's up? Yeah. Huh? Uh -huh. Only one thing to do. Have a come here. A Get rid of him. Have I been next? No, brother. You want to be on the tape? <laughs> Where's my bouncer? Luckily, none of the other guys in the room knew what he was talking about. The reason I brought you guys up here is because I'm looking for a few gay ambassadors to go out to the gay clubs to sell these tapes, take off your shirt, let gay guys put oil on your body, put mustard on your back, you know, mayonnaise on your ears, stuff like that. <laughs> sell these tapes. Is that something that you're into? No. You're not into it. Why not? Because I'm not gay. I don't. No, like you're you're not gay, but you're a businessman. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of money are we talking about? We're talking gay money. Gay money. <laughs> it's about one and a half times straight money. Is this something that you would want to do? <laughs> Powerful gay market. I don't give a. <laughs> I'll do it. That's what I'm looking for. Got a gay ambassador. I'm gonna make you a gay colonel. What about you? Yeah, it's something I would have to think about. So you're in? I didn't say I was in. I said it's something I'm gonna have to think about. Something you don't have to think about? Something I would have to think about. Depends. So you'd be out if you didn't think about it? Or you're in if you had to think about it? I'm in if I had to think about it. You're out when you don't think about it? Correct. But when you do think about it, you're out? Not necessarily, no. You're in, then? It all depends on what I have to do. Thank you very much. He's in. We got a gay ambassador. How about you, right over here? Gay ambassador? Yeah? Yeah. Gay ambassador. Gay ambassador. Gay ambassador. All right. So we got a gay ambassadors all around. Like what? You want me to go on the camera right now and say I'm gay? And I start... want to start a new tape. Mm -hmm. It's called Wank Fest 2003. <laughs> I put you in a thong. All right? Your name is painted on your ass cheeks and you dance through gay clubs. That's it. Simple. And then you jump in a, a vet, a jello, and gay guys hose you off. We throw you in a van and we take you to the next club. City by city, gay tour. We're looking for cucumber shots, pickle shots, hot, occasional hot dog in a bun. You'll do other stuff like Polish kielbasa, corn dog in it. All right, Siamese that, that meatballs. Ain't, that, that ain't, I don't uh, know. Swiss under cheese. I don't, I don't know what none of that is. <laughs> Let me tell you, brother, you're gonna know what it means. This is shop talk. You guys don't know the world, I guess. Uh, beyond that point, do we have to commit any gay acts? If you want to, I can't pay you for that. That's your own time. But describe <laughs> a gay act. What would a gay act be? <laughs> Help me out here. I have a hard time finding words here. All right. <laughs> Are we gonna be having to uh, kiss on guys? Is is uh, guys gonna be playing with our? <laughs> but that really what you're talking about in in America? Yeah, not really a gay act. Now, if you guys want to floss your toes, shine the doorknob, uh, you know, check under the hood, that's your business. If you want guys checking under your hood, if you guys want 
your spark plugs tuned up, if you want your Cadillac converter converted, we can talk about that. You know what I'm saying? Well, there's a tape we did last year called Training Gay. <laughs> a lot like Swedish Meatball 2002, except we used red sauce instead of brown gravy. I'm talking about all out mayonnaise on my Subway sandwich. Are you in? You're out. Yeah. Where'd I lose you? Have a seat for a second. Well, to yeah, be honest you, with you, you're talking in riddles. You know what I'm saying? You're not really being straight up. You're not really telling us nothing. I'll, I'll, quit. I'll be straight up with you. Are you comfortable with a guy saying, I bought your tape, I loved it? I'm real quite yes comfortable no. with yes that, no. yeah. That Are you sure. comfortable with a guy shaking your hand and going, I love you, your tape was hilarious? Cool. I'm cool okay. With it. Are you comfortable with a guy putting his <laughs> on your forehead? <laughs> You're okay with that? No, I'm not okay with that. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm okay with that. Are you comfortable with a guy Xing you? What the hell is that? You guys have been Xed. As you're on my hidden camera show, it's called the Jamie Kennedy Experiment. It's a hidden camera show. Barkeep, give me whiskey. Hey! We'll be back with more JKX right after this. Cody! When we return, these folks are getting a tour. Would you be busy with my wife? Peace! Austin so long, and now I feel like I could give a tour. So I did. The experiment? What happens when an everyday tour turns into the Jerry Springer show? All right, folks, step on up. Plenty of seats along the aisle here, plenty of seats in the back. Step on up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to... The Downtown Austin Duck Tours, America's first and only duck tours. You don't have to be a quack to enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, look, I'm looking down the street. You might be able to catch a glimpse of the Capitol building. Get a good shot of it. It's exciting. <laughs> All right, coming over here. We're coming over the Congress Street Bridge, but it is also known as the Bat Bridge because it is home summer nights to more than two million Mexican free tail bats. All right. We're coming up to a real interesting part of our Austin tour. Uh, you look to the right, you see the fabulous Austin Motel. It's a real sex palace. And uh, this is where every day at around 3 o'clock, my best friend Michael is my wife. But this is the day I'm gonna catch this bastard. So what time is it? <laughs> I think it's about three o'clock. Well, if I see him, I'm gonna. And there he is. There he is. Hold on. Hey, Mike. Hey, hey, Dave. What's going on? What are you doing? Uh, at a business meeting. What's really? going on with you? Did you uh, go to work today? I gotta go back right now. Mike! He caught you. Would you be busy with my wife? Piece of Hey, he come right away! He come! Go ahead. Go ahead, take off. Right, go take go off. The car's right up there. Truck. Just go up the street. My car's yeah, right up there. Quick. Where are you going? <laughs> get on the bus, please. I'm just get on the bus. Hold on, I'm going, I'm going. Get on the bus! 
Get on the bus. Hey, I'm going. Get on the bus. I'm going, I'm going. What? He got to put that away, though. Where? He got to lay that out. You better hide him. Can you believe it? The girls are in shock and the guys just are hiding cool. the cheaters. Everyone just be cool. He got done with him. He did? Yeah. He's coming back, he's coming back. Right. Do not say anything. Do not say anything, okay? Sorry about this. You're gonna have a good tour, folks. You're gonna get what you paid for. Hey, I tell you what, give me $40, I'm gonna catch it for you. <laughs> Do you know where he went? No, I don't know where he went to. I'll give you 20 if you tell me where he went. I don't know where he went. Did anyone see where he went? Anyone on this bus? I did. Where'd he go? He's right back there. Get off the bus! David, David, be careful, be careful. hey, you need to take it down a notch, okay? <laughs> How could you do that? I'm sorry, folks. I have to figure this out for a second. I want to know what the hell you're doing with him. Are you making love? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, ask him about my wife, Mandy. No. Hey, you been with Mandy? Mandy was a girl that I slept with, and I slept with her to find out if I really loved you. Is that bad? Wait a minute, wait a minute, yeah. wait a minute. Is that weird, sir? Wait a minute one time, wait a minute. Were you married when you stayed with Mandy? I was married to her. Say, <laughs> should I leave him? No, don't leave him, you done got him back, y'all evil. What you need to do right now? You go back, grab him, go and hug him, and tell him you love him, and tell him you holler at him. Bless the life, you'll see him later. Thank you, sir. So he got to go. And tell him quick way. Yeah, but you gotta go. You gotta go. This is my wife. You gotta go. I love you so much. I love you so much. I love you so much. Hey, good. Now give me a hundred dollars. I'm getting off this bus for you. Really? Oh, should I make up with him? Now, who the best? Now, which one? Who the best? He was better. He was better? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's but you said size didn't matter. If he that small, tell him he's gonna get some help for him. I'm taking pills. It's still too little. He's taking wrong pills. Should I make up with my friend? Just come here. Be careful. The hug? Yeah. Old school? Yeah, come on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, and I'm sorry that we fight, but you know I love you. Well, David, I mean, I love you too. <laughs> All right, all right. I, I think... <laughs> all right. I love you so much. Yeah, that was... I love you, Michael. This kid out in the open, tell him what's been going on. I've been having an affair with him. Oh! Talk about the house. Get your man. Get your man. Leave the boy alone, baby. What is going on? Sarah, that's my wife. Look at your wife. Why she trying to black, she'll never go back. Damn it, you're taking my wife. Is she like this? Yeah. This solid as a rock. <laughs> can I just tell you something? What's that? Instead of going on the tour, do you know what I'm going to do? What's that? I'm just going to X you all. Oh, you know why? Why that? Because you've been X'd. Because you're on my hidden camera show. It's called the Jamie Kennedy Experiment. <laughs> ah! Look at him. Look at him. Yeah, you ain't kidding me. Y'all come back now, you hear? We can have Tommy cut me in for 40%. You're gonna come here and extort money from me, though? It's a partnership.
Welcome back to the Jamie Kennedy Experiment. Coming to you from the heart of the Lone Star State, Austin, Texas. Come on through. What's going on? So earlier in the show, we showed you how this guy, Tim, handled our extra sensitive metal detector. I might have to go to double loop. So we did this bit a few times, and we just had to show you Gabe. Needless to say, Gabe has a bit too much iron in his diet. I better take up your watch. Sarah, come through. One second. Okay. Come through. Okay. Take off your belt, please. Security stepped up now, sir. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Come Can you take off shoes? Oh, okay. that's why my zippers. You got zippers all yeah. over them, sir. <laughs> Hold it, sir. That's probably the problem. Okay. Come on through. Just hurry up, come on. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Check the shirt. Take off your shirt, sir. Come through. There you go. Sir, what do you have in your pants? What are you packing in your pants? You gotta take your pants off, sir. Yeah. Take your pants off. Okay. Sit down, sir. Thank you, sir. One leg down, one leg up. There you go. Get this up like this. <laughs> Check the soles of those socks. <laughs> okay, the other side, sir. Metal? What are you hiding in there, sir? Puppy. Okay, okay, all right. Let's come through again. You know what, take off your socks. You gotta take off your socks, sir. Socks. The party's gonna be well worth it, sir. Oh boy. Come on, sir. Stand right here. What are you what are you hiding, sir? Nothing. Okay. Okay. Do you have a courtesy robe? Slip this on, sir. But I need him to take off his underpants. All right. Turn around, sir. There's something, there's something in there, sir. Oh my God, I will leave you. Is there anything in there? No, Don't play games with me. I'm not. Sir, is there a hammer in there? No, there's nothing in there. Is there anything a steel, all? Is there a steel fork in there? No, no fork, no nothing. What did you, you have for lunch today? Uh, macaroni and corn. Corn. Okay, what kind of corn? I don't know. White corn? No, yellow corn. Yellow corn has a lot of iodine no. in it. All right. It may be the yellow corn. Have a seat here. Have a seat there, sir. Have a seat. Thank you for your patience, sir. Okay, sit right here. Okay. Bear with us, sir. Ready? One. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you for being here for a second. We'll get you in there. I'm very sorry. We'll get you out of here in one second. Well, stay seated. You hold on to this for one second. Let me make sure that's legit. I want to stand you up here. Okay, okay. I got people looking at my ass. Okay. Okay, sir. This is an x ray of your head. Now, no wonder why you didn't get in. You know why? Because you got an x in your head. You've been X'd, because you're on my hidden camera show. It's called the Jamie Kennedy Help me welcome Gabe. Okay. Dude, I gotta ask you. Does this happen to you all the time? No, never, it never happens. But if you put on gloves or you made me bend over, I swear it's gonna stop. And we'll be back right after this. When we return. Talk about extortion from an extortion. This dad's getting the business. Tommy, you got to stay in school. Staying in school. I don't agree with that. Don't make me bring up the prostitutes. 
and Lisa Loeb is talking trash. I cannot have a songwriter on the show who's gonna steal someone else's song. We'll just disqualify you, I'm sorry. <laughs> In this piece, I play a dean at a Texas university who asks his student, Tommy, to set up his dad, Tom. The experiment, how will Tom react when he finds out his son has been leading a double life? Here come Tommy's mom and dad now. The mom is in on it, but the dad is clueless. <laughs> Dr. Baker? Yes. The servos? The servos? Now, I called Tom to come over to his son's fraternity house to discuss some problems young Tommy's been getting into. Yes, he, the reason I brought you guys in here is uh, there's been some problems with your son. Your son has been involved in some illegal activities. He's been involved in extortion, racketeering, fraud, and perjury. This here is an article that Tommy placed in the Daily Texan. Quite frankly, sir, I'm surprised to see you alive. Now, it describes there how you died in a skydiving accident. Apparently, you're narcoleptic, and you fell asleep right after you jumped out of the plane. He set up a foundation in your name and has been receiving charitable donations here at the fraternity, up to $62,000. Is, is there, there, there's a history of misbehaving? Is this funny to you? Is this funny to you? Uh-oh. Now I've got some real trouble. The mom is having a hard time keeping a straight face, so I've got to get her out of the room before Dad catches on. Do you need to get yourself together and I can talk to your husband? You know I mean? Will you, please? We really want to save a student. We don't want to lose a student. We don't want to expel a student, but it's very hard not to expel your son with all of the different allegations that are against him. Now, has he been a mischievous child? No, I really never has. He's been a good student. Nothing. No, now he's been, he's, he's, he's selfish. He's selfish, all right, that's good. Now we're gonna, okay, what else oh, is he? Well, no, I mean, he's, he's a pretty, he's... pretty selfish, selfish kid. Is he ever? That's him driving up in a brand new BMW. Now remember, Tommy set up his dad but his dad thinks it's Tommy who's in for the surprise. I guess we haven't really clapped down on his ass. Does he know about this? Uh, no, he has no idea. We've been in the What the is this? Okay. Huh. Ernie, you shut the door, please. We have a seat, sir. Um, can you pull up a chair, please? Do you understand why you're here? Tell me what's going on. What is this stuff? What's this deal? I don't know. That's a dead dad. There's a live dad. <laughs> dead dad? Live dad. What's going on? That's what I did. I needed money. You needed money? I give you so god darn much money that I'm going to need to jerk your chain string back in big time, buddy. Now take it down. Take okay, it down. oh, I know. We I'm don't want to get any. I'm just saying. I, mean, I, I didn't want you to find out like this. I, well, well, find out like this? I'm glad. This is the best thing that ever happened is this gentleman gave us a call. Ernie Collins down here. I tried I mean, to do my job. Well, I tell you what. <laughs> I, I appreciate it. Big time. Well, I don't even need school. It's not even a big deal. <laughs> What's the, wait a minute. Do you I understand that? No, I don't understand. I don't understand. How I don't do understand. What? Where's the 62,000, Tommy? What have you done with it? I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay, Tommy. Tommy, they got a private investigator. He'd been watching. What about the car outside, Tommy? What did you just pull up in here? Is this your BMW it's out BMW. here? It's a BMW. Yeah, it's mine. Okay, did you know about this BMW what? right here? <laughs> Sir? Can you take a look at this BMW right here? The, the black, black one right there? Yeah, that's your son. He purchased it. Now, unless you gave an allowance, man, I never knew anyone having an allowance and could afford a BMW, but that was my household. Where's the, uh, where's the Tahoe <laughs> that I bought? I still haven't. Well, I can tell you something that I was informed that that was sold, and they used some of that money to get the BMW, and also he used that for a trip to Cabo. I didn't even know this. Well, he's, he knows it. Hey, but he that, 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 that's, that's his because job. Because we do. This is what we do, and Tom. I appreciate him doing it. You know what? This is what I do at school. Who would know where the hell you'd be if this guy 
doctor wouldn't have called me. I'd be doing fine. You're not doing fine. I'd be doing just fine. You're not doing fine, right? <laughs> how much money have I spent in this fraternity? How much money have I spent I'll in this I'll pay school? you back. Money's not even an issue anymore. <laughs> That's the only place to mess anything up. What? what? Tommy, you're not going to be. What's this watch on your arm? But here. Well, <laughs> here's the thing. No, just give me a down. There's a way out of this. He has about $87,000 stashed. So what we could do is schools are always searching for more money. We need programs for, we need programs for other programs. We can have Tommy cut me in for 40%. And then like the whole thing. You're gonna come here and extort money from me, though? It's a partnership. I have plenty of partners. What I would do is with the D, they take the money that he has taken, I would take 40% of that. Wait a minute, 40%? What are you gonna do with the 40%? I'm gonna use it for a good to buy books. <laughs> and also, I mean, you know. This is extortion. Is take, what it a, is. take a trip. You're in no position, Tommy, to talk about extortion from an extortioner. Clean him up, keep him in school. That's the big thing. You gotta stay in school. I don't school. even care about staying Tommy, in school. Tommy, you got to stay in school. What your money you have is dirty money. Dirty money, Tommy. <laughs> but I'm willing to take 40% of that. So what do you want to do? I think we need to. Tommy, you're gonna stay in school, Tommy. You stay in school. I, I don't agree. I don't want to. Stay be in a, school, let's all make money. It's extortion. <laughs> don't make me bring up the prostitutes. I mean, I don't, even, I don't even know what you're talking about. You're not going to be expelled from school. No expulsion, Tommy. 40%. And I would like to have your car also. I'm not giving you my car. Dad? Where's your wife? Let me find my wife here. Hold on for one second. Hey, what's going on here? I don't know what's going on. I'm, fr I'm fr What's this guy? Who's this guy? He's a dean. What is he asking for? I mean, I, I tell He's you, extorting money from me is what he's doing. Well, Tommy, I don't like what you're doing. You always taught me to try to make a better way for myself. No, make I don't. Not it's crime. <laughs> Come on, man. Mother? I don't know what's going on. You hear he's done? Mother, have a seat. Have a seat. Wait, wait, can we leave her out of the room, please? Tommy? Father is here to help. Mother is here to help. It's my show. Here's what we want to do. Tommy's got blood money. I'm going to take 40% of it and take the BMW. That's where he stays in school, bottom line. I don't care about staying in school. Tommy, 40%. Everything's good. If not, boy goes to jail. Tommy, you got, you got legal stuff on your problem. It's not just school, Tommy. About to go to 45. It's about you and me, sir. Not about him anymore. We got to take care of him. This is the future of the country. What do you want to do? Say it's all right? Sleep it on the rug? So much more. I want him to stay in school. All right, she's fine with it, Papa. I am, but let's 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 negotiate this thing a little bit. <laughs> better, you know, uh, so, what, what are we gonna do, Ann? Yeah, Ann. I know, but I mean, what are you doing, Ann? Get with the millennium here. This is like a surreal nightmare. It's like you've been exed, right? Yeah, I don't even know what what ex means. But <laughs> I've been exed. Why do you know what that means? No. You've just been exed because you're on my hidden camera show. It's called the Jamie Kennedy Experiment. <laughs> <laughs> Take this, Hollywood. Y'all stay tuned for more JKX right after this. Chris, I think that's their song. That was our song. You have any copyrights on it, Junior? <laughs> Welcome back. All right, here's what we did. We created a fake show called Lone Star Search. It's a televised talent contest for local Austin singers. State your name and uh, the name of the song. Sure, my name is Chris Harrison, and the song is called Apathy Blues. We picked Chris to be the first contestant on the pilot episode. Next, we had him come in for the sound check the day before we taped the show. Now, I play John. My partner Brian and I are posing as Chris's competition on the show, and we're going first at the sound check. We made sure Chris got there early 
so he could check out our act. One, two, three, four. Problem is, my song stinks. Was a bad man. He made the latest sad man. He'd be gone, gone for days, leaving his family with bills to pay. Down in Newport. He was my dad, man. Now it's Chris's turn, so Brian and I are going to sit and watch him play, making sure he notices we're listening to every single word. I put a quarter in the jukebox, it needs 50 cents. Got nothing else, cause my money's all been spent, yeah. My last cigarette got wet, it's been a whole damn year and she ain't called back yet. My Texas tears are watering down my Mexican beer. One lay down and die. Wiggle, waggle, hope but it won't. There's nothing that I want to do no more. Cry every night, baby. Okay, so now I realize Chris is much better than me. So there's only one thing I can do steal his song. <laughs> It's the night of the big show, and Chris has just arrived with his girlfriend. Now this is important. Chris and his girlfriend are the only two people in the whole entire place who Chris. aren't in Chris. on the gag. We lead him into a room backstage where he can watch the taping on the television until it's his turn to sing. Live from Austin, Texas, it's time for Lone Star Search with your host, Lisa Lowe. Welcome to the very first episode of Lone Star Search, and this is going to be a great episode. First, I want to start off by introducing our judges. We have Doug Regan from Sony Music. And this is Jerry Nickerson from Warner Brothers. And we have some very, very talented singer-songwriters, people who write their own music, who perform their own music. Very While Chris's girlfriend gives him a last-minute rubdown in the green room, we take the stage. All right. So for our first set of contestants, singer-songwriters, we have got John and Brian. Put your hands together. I put a quarter in the jukebox. And they took the same. I ain't got nothing in the jukebox. I think I was so poor, but now I lost my dance to choose the number. Now there's a problem here. What do you think? Yes! Two thumbs up? You guys were great. How'd you do that? How'd you come up with that? Yeah, I was just sitting on a toilet. I wrote the song. I mean, that was... If y'all can hear this, there's a serious problem right now. If I'm gonna leave here not getting what I want, then I gotta X you. You gotta come over here and do that, or what are you gonna do? I would like to, but I wanna do it from over here. Chris just watched me perform his song on a fake country music show. And he's up next. If y'all can hear this, there's a serious problem right now. That's an easy song to write. It ain't a hard song. Anybody can write that song. <laughs> Needless to say, Chris is in a little bit of a pickle. Let's see what he chooses to do. We've got another great musician coming up. Give it up for Chris Harrison. <laughs> Looks
looks like Chris decided to go ahead and perform his own song anyway and show me how it's done. Chris? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to ask you to stop. All right. Um, I think that's their song. That was our song. All right. You have any copyrights on it, Junior? Junior? Well, I think that you can ask this whole crowd that I just played the whole damn song, and that's my... Yeah, I could be wrong, but didn't you hear me play that yesterday during sound check? No, I, I didn't hear you play it during sound check at all. You had a like, cute little tap routine in a song about your pappy? <laughs> I, I don't know what you're talking about, but I, that's our song, and we just played it, and Miss Loeb just heard us you play know, it too. I'm sorry, I can't. I cannot have a songwriter on the show who's going to steal someone else's song. Did you all just hear me sing that song? <laughs> That is my song. I wrote it out of my own painful experience. Yeah. yeah. What, what, what painful experience was that, buddy? I had to do with my girlfriend breaking up with me. Well, that's a real downer. I'm sorry to hear that. Did you not steal that song? These kind of arguments. Nope. No. So then, what are we gonna do? We'll just disqualify you. I'm sorry. <laughs> so we go on the court. Or... You try to claim the song, buddy, and you'll you'll find yourself in a mess of trouble. Oh, really? Guarantee well, it. How? How? How's that? Well, my girlfriend's dad, the lawyer. And my aunt, the patent attorney. I'm a religious man also, and I don't want to lie. Well, God bless you, brother. I have a law to back me up, and I have Jesus Christ to back me up. Yep. And I've got my ex-girlfriend, who I wrote the song about, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I want my song on the show, or I'm going to sue you. You're going to sue me? <laughs> well, I'm going to call my lawyer. I'm going to sue you. I'll sue him. Can't believe I did, you stupid piece of <laughs> show. How's Jesus doing over there? You. I'll take my shit to the old Opry. I gotta tell you, if I'm gonna leave here not get what I want, then I gotta X you. All yeah. right? You're gonna what now? I gotta X you. You gotta come over here and do that, or what are you gonna do? I would like to, but I wanna do it from over here. All right. So, what I like to let you know is, is that you've been X'd. Come again? You're on my hidden camera show. It's called the Jay. <laughs> show. We've had a great time here in Austin, Texas. I want to give a special thanks to our band, the Weary Boys. I'd also like to say a special thanks to Lisa Loeb. And everybody give it up for Jamie Kennedy. Thank you. That's so nice. That's so nice. Good night.